All right, so if you have not looked at um, black women in fashion magazines or whatever title I'm going to give it, then please do so before you look at this video. I think that can contextualize what I'm about to say now. Um, I stumbled across this ad that's in a magazine. I get some water for this. stumbled across this ad y'all and it, I don't, it it's, it's people it's people playing games like I don't know you know to my people out there um I don't know if we it, I didn't even this this has evaded my attention because like I said I am not a major magazine subscriber okay the magazine that I subscribe to that I get is Black Enterprise. Any other magazine is either given to me or I may see it on the, you know, by the by the um by the check register or whatever. Cause I'm waiting in line for so long and I just pick it up and like, ooh, I see something in it and I want to buy. But the one that I faithfully subscribe to is Black Enterprise magazine. For the reasons that I already mentioned in my first video. However, I don't know what magazine this article was found in, but I'm gonna post a link below in the in the description box. But um, this is very, whew, very disturbing to me. Raise your hand if you use Nivea, if you've ever used Nivea. I know I do. You know, I did. You know, I switched to Vaseline cocoa butter because it was cheaper and I couldn't find the kind of Nivea that I normally get. But um, I've used Nivea lotion. So I just got like this sick sense of like just uh, complete utter disbelief and shock when I saw this advertisement. This sick buffoonery. And um, this is what the article, this is what the, I'm going to show y'all a link so y'all can click on the link and see it for yourself. But the actual ad, y'all, it says in big letters, re-civilize yourself. And in the top right hand corner, I don't cuss, so I will say it says in the right-hand corner, it says, look like you give a D-A-M-N. Y'all can pronounce it if y'all will. And then it says Nivea for men. And it got in the background behind the text. It has this brother. Looks like he's, you know, maybe in a parking lot um, or some sort of uh, arena or something like that. You know, has on gray shirt. White under, white, white under crisp shirt, you know, regular denims, low cut fade, um, black boots. And it looks like he's like in a running position or something like that. He's like this. Yeah. And in his hand, y'all, he has this black head with an afro. And he's gripping the afro like he just came back from war. And he got a, he got a decapitated brother in his hand. And it has an afro. And so Nivea is sending out this message to y'all black brothers out there that y'all need to re-civilize y'all because the brother with the afro, according to Nivea, looks like he doesn't give a doggone. And it looks like he's barbaric, like he's primitive, like he's uncivilized. This is the message that they're sending out to y'all. How did we? How 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 did I not see this? How did I not see this advertisement? Oh, because I don't look at every single magazine that comes my way. That's probably one reason. But how did this not receive major outcry from the black community, from the community in general, from people in general? How long are we going to sit and allow people? Just allow you know, advertisements and media and, and different types of forms and what have you to, 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 to make a mockery of who we are. To make a mockery of who we are to completely disregard any type of civility when talking or, 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 or advertising a product using people of color. This is very upsetting to me. It is very upsetting to me that Nivea assumes that the Afro is uncivilized. Now, granted, 
they may say, you know, we weren't really referring to the dude's hair. We weren't referring to um, the brother there, um, uh, the, the, the decapitated brother with just a head. Uh, we wasn't referring to his hair um, in that ad. We just wanted to have a prop. So we gave, you know, the brother in the running position. We gave him, you know, a decapitated black head with a big old afro. We just thought that was cool. You know, we thought that that made, made more black folk buy Nivea a lot more quicker. We would make the product a little bit more lucrative. Maybe that's the argument Nivea may come up with. I don't know what going on in the crazy people head. I don't know. But what I do know, that was tasteless. That was a poor choice of accessorizing your ad. And also, it showed that, you know, at the end of the day, Racism permeates through every single thing. You can find it. It can rear its head up. It can rear its head up anywhere, even for a lotion ad. This is sad. This is very sad to me. Because a lot of us think that, you know, magazines, uh, you know, text, text or physical forms of advertisement and marketing, um, when we're talking about what it exploits and, 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 what it's, and, and who it tends to dehumanize, we normally focus on the black woman, right? We normally say, okay, there's more light-skinned black women on the, on, on the covers of these magazines, or the women have to have some sort of light-colored eyes or contacts um, or long flowing hair or a loose curl pattern or long flowing tracks or or a lace front wig in her, uh, on her head in order to be deemed beautiful and therefore um, grace the cover of very popular magazines, billboards, movies, music videos, etc. Um, but I think very little attention, if any, is given to how black men in some of these videos, I mean, in some of these advertisements are, are also being exploited. You know, in general, I think this could be a uni sexual, um, a, a unisex um, based advertisement. I think that it's shameful for not only black men, but also black women, because we both have, you know, uh, varying degrees of Afro textured hair. So, um, and some may not have Afro textured hair at all, but definitely when you see a black decapitated head with an Afro and the dude is black, it's referring to somebody that's black. Let's put it that way. There's no confusion there. And so the natural hair, I think, is being attacked here because the brother in the running position has a low cut fade while the brother he's holding in his hand has an Afro. Why is that? What's the logic there? What does that have to do with Nivea? What does the whole advertisement have to do with Nivea? Honestly, civilize yourself? Why don't you be civil? Nivea? Huh? Why don't you be civil? That's the way I feel. <laughs> you know, y'all, I feel so bad now because as, as sad as this is, I love me some Nivea lotion. I, I'm at a dilemma here, y'all. I'm at a dilemma here. So I asked y'all the question, what should Afro Story do? Should we boycott Nivea too? What kind of lotion I mean? Should I stick with Vaseline now? This is just sad. I, I just I just stumbled across this ad and I wanted to bring it to y'all attention. So um y'all view it and tell me what you think. Peace.